Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, and you join me in the hallowed halls of Workstation Pros. I'm joining my old buddy, Rich Rogers. Hi. It's good to see you again. Yep, good to see you too. Um, we are breaking new ground today, aren't we? We are. This is, uh, this is super hot. We think this is a world first. I, it must be. Because I've, I've not seen any other videos for it. Um, nope. We've seen we've seen one small little press announcement. Um, I think you guys covered it at some point. Yep. Um, a few other bits and bobs on the website of UA, but yes, we are running an Apollo Twin on a Windows machine. Not so crazy, I hear you scream, because Universal Audio announced the Apollo Twin USB. Yep. Well over a year ago now. But stop, this is not an Apollo Twin USB. No. This is an Apollo Twin Thunderbolt. Yep. So Rich, UA made the announcement and, yep. and they gave us a whole list of thing, do's and don'ts, cans and cans. A cans. sparse list. A sparse list. Yeah, it was a sparse list. I mean, obviously I think, I can't remember if you told me or, or which way around it. I think I saw the announcement. Mm. Um, Jump for joy, obviously, even even in the... Uh, there was a woohoo moment. Yeah, I mean, even in the Mac world, we could still only use certain machines, couldn't we, with yep. UA stuff, uh, which has had everyone just chomping at the bit. Everyone wants that DSP, and everyone wants those crisp converters. So, um, obviously, seeing that announcement, well, time to buy some Thunderbolt cards and have a go. Okay, so first of all, um, let's just confirm what UA announced. Yep. And then let's confirm what we've actually, or what you've actually done. Yeah. So the announcement was that the Thunderbolt UA Apollo interfaces, that's the Apollo yep. Twin, Thunderbolt, the 8 and the 8P Thunderbolt, yep. would work over Thunderbolt 3 yep. stroke USB C, isn't type, it? They're yep. the same connector yes. type. And as far as we were aware at the time, there was next to no machines that had that connectivity. Handful, handful of laptops. Um, that was it. That was it. Um, <laughs> even, even on the Mac side as well, we had, well, the new MacBook that's just been announced uh, and the, uh, the, 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 the little 13-inch number. Yeah. So. Now, where things get interesting is a little piece of subtext right down the bottom in the, the T's and C's of yeah. that announcement. And it says something along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing, may work with Thunderbolt 2, brackets not supported. Yeah. Well, guess what? Mm. It works. And this man got it going. We, Tell us what you did. Because let's face it, there wasn't a great deal of rocket science involved. No, not really. I just always, uh, I always wonder when I see words not supported. So... I'm usually one on the end of the phone that people call. Oh, oh, <laughs> no like, disrespect yeah. to UA, yeah. but it's like, you know, it, 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 if you're the one providing the system. Absolutely. So, um, already done a few other tests with some other IOs, which and we're going we'll, we'll to talk come. about. Um, and that got me thinking, well, you know, come on, it's it's Windows 10. The, the Thunderbolt support is, um, is so different to how it was in previous Windows. So, um, yeah, got the driver on, had a bit of a fiddle about. Um, For about a minute, to yeah, be fair. Uh, yeah, I, it wasn't, I haven't done any, you know. You there's, know. No, there's no back-end cleverness. No, or no, no, honestly, like really that. haven't been sort of tearing apart drivers or anything. Um, and, yeah, restart the system, lock and load. and, and Now, it went through some, was it the... Um, certification of yeah. The so the, the the way that Thunderbolt needs to work um, on a Windows machine, it needs to kind of do an official handshake. Um, and the <laughs> moving on. And basically, <laughs> what that means is that as something's plugged in, it wants to a know that it's an officially supported device. Mm -hmm. So you can actually turn that option on or off. We have that off. Oh. Um, you know, I, th I think that's 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 more to do with like UEFI and maybe the BIOS getting hacked with malware and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, what you said. So we, we ignored that. Um, didn't see anything straight away. Did a reboot. 
double check till the latest. We did actually need to do a Thunderbolt firmware update. update, but that wasn't the one. Well, we had to do one on the Apollo, but the HP actually had one done yeah. before yeah. before uh, before you was here. So did that, rebooted, and um, yeah, hey presto, plugged it in, and it basically says this is what the device is. Do you allow this? You select, yeah, no yes, problem. We yeah. know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and and bang, it's there. And it works. And yep. so let's just very briefly show you around. We've got a fairly sizable session running um, through time and practicality. We haven't had time to install all the plugins, um, but it's a fairly sizable session. It's 70 something tracks, I think. Uh, you can see the UA control panel. We are running um, just the Apollo Twin. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a duo or is it a duo? It's a duo, yeah. Yeah. Um, our configuration is there. Where is the the oldie? We've got the, there it is. It's running pretty much stand, standardly. Yeah, yeah. Console's all good. Yeah. Um, and in Pro Tools, let's just go in to show you the playback engine. We're running this down at 128 samples. It's exactly as you'd expect to see. There's nothing crazy, there's nothing weird going on. Um, and as you can see on the system usage window, once again, we are really not breaking a sweat. There's a yeah. few, I think well, we're DSPs using- DSP's over up here in the corner, so yeah. we can see where- We're using yeah, quite I mean, a lot you know, of duo. It's, 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 you know, it's, um, it's only a duo, isn't it? But um, happy days, happy days. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a very long time. And, I'm uh, one of them. And at the moment, I mean, there's a lot of third-party motherboards that are coming out from Gigabyte, Asus, you know, more sort of, I suppose, almost gaming uh, class motherboards. And a lot of them are all coming now with built-in Thunderbolt. This is all coming mm -hmm. as standard, which is great and lovely. And for the system builders out there, that's, you know, great. But it's, you know, we like... We like branded boxes. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never going to say never with building systems. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people out there that do it, um, and a lot of people that 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 get really good systems out of it. Um, but this is all these H are certi HP certified. certified systems. You know, Avid certified this this box. You know, all of the 600 series, 800 series. Um, same with the Dell Precisions. Uh, we're going to test those next. We're going to see what we can get going that. But yeah, at the moment. 640s, 840s, Thunderbolt 2, UA. And, and Pro Tools, and it's a winner. So, uh, by the magic of um, YouTube video, watch this. So it's not just the little Apollo twin that works. Behind here, we have the Apollo 8 and the 8P, and they are working exactly the same. One Thunderbolt connection straight into the back of the HP machine. Now, at this stage, we have to point out um, until the next version of the UA software comes out, it's only single device at a time. So yeah. it's one Thunderbolt device connected at a time. No daisy chaining yet. No daisy chaining. Uh, we are reliably informed that this is coming early in 2017. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, I suspect this might be an announcement at the NAM show, but watch this space because quite frankly, we'll be there first. Um, and I know we're there first, because we literally are there first. Literally. Um, we've changed session, we've changed things a bit, but um, you can see that we've got the, we're using a bit more DSP juice because mm -hmm. quite frankly, this is a quad, not just a duo. Um, you can see it's quite happy. We're using quite a lot of, actually we're using quite a lot of that quad, aren't we? Yeah. Um, but again, the system usage and Pro Tools is really just ticking over. Um, and you'll hear it out of the headphones. Um, it's just working really, really well. We've been playing with it for a good couple of hours and it's bomb-proof, absolutely rock solid. Mm. Um, well done UA for getting drivers right, we like yep. that. Um, we also have some other stuff coming along the whole drivers and things, but yep. more on that in future videos. Yep. Um, but the other thing we found, or that I found and Rich already had, was this baby. Yes. This is very nice. Yes. I'm liking this a lot. Logic Keyboards Pro Tools. Yes. PC USB keyboard thing. Yep. Yeah, we've just become um, the reseller for them. Um, and it is what it is. It's an LED glow in the dark 
No more fumbling around, hitting the wrong buttons. There's nothing like fumbling around in the dark, but well, let's not go there. I know, I know, but this time you've got a different instrument to do it with. Hey, um, it's a little aside, but it's really nice. I like that a lot. The build quality is great on them. Um, and they are, I think what we've seen with a lot of other keyboards is they will try and do a hybrid keyboard. They'll try and do it Windows and Mac. This is a PC one. They do do Mac ones, that's a Mac one. I just think that these little things, you know, these, these you know, it, it just makes life a bit better. I, the keys are great on them. The travel is really nice. Um, obviously, all color coded. And one thing that you pointed out, very nice. The uh, it's a proper powered USB hub that's in them. Um, so you could attach a drive or an interface. For exactly. Them. Yeah. So that does mean it needs two USB cables to go into the host. But, but in the PC right. world, that's not much of an issue. I in think the back we've got the... like eight or ten on this. So. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just really nice to be able to see the eye lock there rather than uh, accidentally snapping it off, off on the, the side. front of your. Yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, I think yeah, we're Yeah, ZDT there, only goes so far. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we hope you enjoyed that. This is quite literally, we think a world first. Yeah. Um, great stuff, UA. Once again, bat, ball, out of the park, yep. nailed it. Um, it has to be said, and we'll stress this again, this is not the quote unquote supported way of doing it, yeah. but it's working really, really well. Yeah. Uh, we all know that the term supported is often way too overused, yeah. Yeah. Um, but hey, in this case, it's working. Yeah, I mean, look, I understand why they, they do it and and why, say, you're going to support something that's effectively legacy. Mm -hmm. Thunderbolt's gone through so many reiterations now that you know they're looking towards the future. I get that. But the fact of the matter is there's no other workstation apart from getting the Mac Pro trash can that, you know, so many people don't want to go to. Uh, there's no other workstation that will provide something that, that works, you know. Mm. So if we've got it going on on these, well, we've just opened that up a bit more. Um, and to me, I'm just really excited. I can now finally run an Apollo yeah. on a proper workstation with multiple cores and uh, not uh, on my laptop. And a million gig of RAM yeah, and yeah, I internal think drives I think and all great. the loveliness that we've got used to with workstation kind of. Yeah. The, the Mac, let's face it, the Mac Pro cheese grater form factor. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you're, as we've said before, either you and me chatting or on the podcast, um, change one thing. The thing I'm not prepared to change is Pro Tools. No. The thing I'm not prepared to change is my quality interfaces. Um, I'm loving the fact that these work. I'm loving the fact that the twins work. Um, and the fact that it's also working on totally happily on my MacBook Pro at the same time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As, as portable machines go, the MacBook Pro exactly. is still a killer machine. Yes. But when you get back to your your main studio facility or your, your um, editing desk or whatever it is you use, Pro Tools or any DAW4, mm. There is something about having a nice, big, solid thing with all the everything connected internally. Yeah, yeah. There's a million arguments for both, but the thing, personally, I don't want to change. I want to keep it all in one nice, big, solid box. Yeah. Um, that's a me thing. Hey, if you're agreeing with me, then we clearly have the same sort of work ethic. methodology, yeah. ethic. If you're the one shouting at the YouTube screen, well, what are you on about? Then <laughs> hey, yeah. Then then the connected devices and, and spaghetti. As I found out in the last few weeks, studios are, are not a place for the cable phobic. No, no. Um, We've always had them. They're not going anywhere. And I think the nice thing about it is that once it's all plugged in, it all works, doesn't it? Um, so whether you're plugging that into one small little round black cylinder or and then with another 50 other things or whether you're plugging it into that, that is more my form factor. Yeah. Um, and that's the kind of people that we tend to deal with. So, you know. And I think that's exactly always. it. It is it is horses from metaphorical courses. Exacto mundo. So with that, Rich, as ever, my friend, pleasure. Bless you. Um, I've been James from Pro Tools Expert. I've been Richard Rogers from Workstation Pros. And we'll see you again soon for some more gear talk.